Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad Technology Evangelist for Sapient Technologies Inc. In this instructional video, we're looking at how to execute script file remotely using the Remote Script Execution Engine or the RSEE service application. In both Primal Script and PowerShell Studio products, you'll find the feature to run and debug script file remotely using the Remote Script Execution Engine. This service provides a secure connection between systems, so you don't need to provide user credential while it's running as a service in the remote system. In both editors, you'll find the remote button with the option to use the RSEE service application. In PowerShell Studio, on the remote button, click on the arrow down and you'll find the Run Remotely RSEE option. In Primal Script, under the Remote button, click on the arrow down and you'll have two options available that use the RSEE service application, the single target and the multiple target. In PowerShell Studio, after opening the script file, Use the Run Remote RSEE option. This option will prompt you to enter the remote computer name and, if necessary, the local IP address. Any output from the script file execution will be sent to the output pane. In Primal Script, use the single target option to send and execute a script file remotely to one system. It will prompt you to enter the target computer name and any result from the script file execution will be sent to the output pane. Now, if there's a need to run the script file remotely on multiple systems, then use the multiple target option. The multiple target option gives you the ability to create a list of systems to send and execute the script file remotely on multiple systems. And again, all output generated from the running script file will be sent to the output pane. As you can see, the Remote Script Execution Engine service application is an important component for both Primal Script and PowerShell Studio products that let you execute script file remotely by establishing a secure connection between systems with no need to provide user credentials. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Saving Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.